Hey guys. So I am so excited that we are doing the sugar story challenge here at Bodyholic. And the reason I didn't close this to Bodyholics, you know, the, the members, is because the whole point of the sugar challenge is to actually try and help one single person, if I can, maybe turn their life around. And I have to just say something and, and like, let's be really clear. I don't um, take anything out of my diet, really. And, and I am super, super pro um, eating everything and uh, anything, and there's no such thing as an evil or forbidden food. This, I have to say this first, this is a disclaimer. I am so happy that my daughter sees me eat everything. Um, however, I, I do feel so much better when I don't eat sugar. Okay, that's, that's first of all. Second of all, there are people who are susceptible to addiction, genetically even susceptible to addiction, and um, the sugar is actually used by them as perhaps a substance, okay? So, uh, or like people can actually get addicted to sugar, and we're gonna talk about that over the next 14 uh, days, I promise. You're, if you're following for 14 days, then you're gonna learn a whole lot, I hope. Um, and if you know all this stuff, then awesome. Uh, so I just, I'm kind of on a mission here. There, I see uh, the situation now as two pandemics. Right, so so we have you know the pandemic that everybody's talking about, and the reason we're wearing masks, and uh, we also have obesity rates that are you know insane in the states. So let me give you the stat, okay? In 2018, the obesity rate was 42 percent, not overweight, okay? Obesity. This means when you're, when you're at the obese level, then you're very, very likely to get a lot of diseases that um, have to do with the metabolic syndrome, like high blood pressure, like diabetes, etc. cetera. So um, very soon is the International Diabetes Day, and uh, this is also a topic that's very, very close to my heart. Um, it's something that I deal with uh, in my work, I have been a fitness group and personal trainer for over 15 years, and um, I am also a public health promoter, and I'm currently working uh, on my thesis uh, for my master's of public health, and this is something that I deal with a lot, um, and there is also uh, some of this stuff going on in my family. So um, it is a very, very big deal for me, and this sugar challenge is not because I'm, um, you know, out flagging sugar and saying, you know, this is evil. I just am inviting you to learn a little bit about it, okay, and maybe it'll help one single person. If, if I do that, then amazing. And that's why if you know anyone who wants to hop into the challenge and or just follow my story, um, over the next 14 days, I'm completely devoting uh, my story to this, and that would be amazing. Um, and if you want to uh, do it with a friend other than me, then that would be amazing. Tag your friend, and um, let's let's try to learn a little bit about this together. I'm gonna uh, poll you guys and ask you for reports, and and just P.S. I'm gonna be learning a lot from um, your responses. So. So I am gonna integrate it, you know, anonymously. It really does, I'm just looking at the stats and I would love to know um, how you felt over the 14 days. So guys, welcome to the Bodyholic Sugar Story Challenge.